Here's the gist of Demon Turf. This is a single-player 3D platformer with a 2.5D aesthetic developed by Fabras and published by Platonic Friends. It released on PC and the usual trio of consoles, including the previous-gen PS4 and Xbox One, in early November 2021. You play as Beebs, a thousand-year-old demon out to become the queen of the underworld. To do that, you'll have to usurp the current king, but his castle's gate is powered down and needs batteries to operate. Thus, you go through various zones of the demon realm and collect-a-thon-style action platform collecting batteries and sweets as bonuses. Controls have a baseline of what you'd expect for a 3D platformer, running double jumps and a 3D camera, which could be set to automatically follow with you if that's more your speed. From there, Demon Turf has its own take on platforming, introducing various forms Beebs can automatically shift into as you move. For instance, the gliding form is a spin attack as well as a jump extension, and if you save your double jump before using the glide, then you can perform a long distance super jump. You can kick off walls, later on you get a hook shot to blast forward with, the controls get pretty complex as you go, but also freeform? What I mean to say is there's plenty of different ways to gain height and distance while platforming, and you can vary it up circumstantially or based on what you're better at. Like a Mario-style triple jump if you have the room, or holding to glide just to grab that extra distance. With all the different styles of movement, if you're playing on PC, I'd highly recommend a controller. Now, structurally, each world in Demon Turf is split off into subworlds. Think of it like a 3D world map with levels. Within each level are collectible suites, which can be used to purchase new powers and surprisingly in-depth cosmetics. You can click the left stick any time for the game to point you in the direction of the secret sugar bombs, but you still have to figure out how exactly to platform your way over to them. Although, the game isn't all about jumps and dashes. Combat is a core component, too. Rather than dealing direct damage, most enemies will simply knock you about, trying to launch you into the red color-coded spot or lasers, or just blast you off the side of the map. Don't worry, there's colorblind settings if you're in need. Conversely, instead of health being a factor, enemies are bested by using your jabs or charged power punch to slam them off the map or into spikes. You can also pull and launch them with the hookshot instead once you unlock it. This is a good way of seamlessly combining the 3D platforming with combat, as opposed to feeling like an entirely different game as soon as a fight starts. Using the very same physics for battles as you do for exploration. That said, the game still goes out of its way to segment fight sequences with a UI prompt, though this is more to indicate that you must defeat the enemies to proceed, rather than dividing up the gameplay styles. It's also used in cases of needing to collect items or timed areas, it's just for easing player confusion. One of my favorite mechanics unique to Demon Turf is in the name. You can set your own checkpoints, or turfs, to teleport to any time or respawn at if you die. With infinite lives, all you lose for falling is time, so having a quick recovery point is useful indeed. The game will have suggested locations to plant your flag, but you can set them anywhere there's room, and warp between them whenever you see fit. You can even save yourself during a long fall by teleporting before you hit the ground. Now, once you collect all the batteries in a new area, you'll get to tangle with the boss of that world. Defeating them earns you more cred, furthering your goal of becoming Demon Queen. But more so, it also adds a new set of levels to that particular world, sort of like hard mode levels are just new maps altogether with different kinds of collectibles, and a whole new set of batteries. You can still play the original versions of the map as well if there's something you missed or if you're trying to speedrun to get a high score on the online leaderboard. The game is designed with replayability in mind by giving you new powers to work with, counting how many times you jump, and offering an optional level timer. In addition, side quests like a photo bounty where you use the game's camera mode to snap specific pics in exchange for snacks, a golf mini game, a battle arena, and various other goodies give you more to do outside of the main story, not to mention official mod support. All this paired with the catchy soundtrack, eye-catching art style, and in-your-faceness of it all makes Demon Turf feel so unapologetically itself. I won't pretend some of the dialogue isn't cringy or dated, and the voice acting may not be to everyone's liking, but the overall presentation of the game is so slick that I can overlook minor bumps. And on a personal note, I've found the story to be charming. This is going to sound kinda weird, but stick with me. The gameplay of Demon Turf feels like a natural evolution of old, weird Doom wads and custom games, both in the slightly pixelated and polygonal aesthetic, and in the creative use of map pieces to create a 
whole new genre of game. Obviously, it's not an FPS, but in terms of presentation, it struck that kind of vibe with me. Maybe it's just the hellscape theming, who knows. The controls are tight, the levels are short enough to not overstay their welcome, but long enough to be satisfying, and the game is just so mesmerizing to look at. It's the most fleshed out blending of 2D and 3D art styles I've seen in the genre, a difficult feat to accomplish. There's plenty to love about Demon Turf to justify its $25 price point. If you enjoyed the recently released Here Comes Nico, but wanted something a little more challenging gameplay-wise, or share my everlasting love for a hat in time, Demon Turf will be your jam. Thank you very much to Fabraz for the early review key, and hey, thank you all for putting up with on and off hiatuses. Been pretty busy lately. You can check on my Twitter to learn more. But I did my best to get a video out for you. Hope you'll stick around. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe, and take it easy.